Hi, my name's Sean Rankin. We're here at my restaurant, 12 Hay Hill in Mayfair in London, and I'm gonna cook Dover sole sous vide today. And I'm gonna do it with like a little classic fish pie flavors. Um, so I've got some mussels, uh, some cockles, some foraged herbs, sea purslane, salty fingers, um, and to finish off with some chives in a scallop cream. For the Dover sole, firstly, I wanna take the skin off. There's a little, nice little method for this. Just nick the bottom of the tail with a knife. Try not to go through the tail on both sides. You can see that. Take two wet cloths in your hand. Be very careful at this, this time. You, what you don't want to do is pull the flesh away from the skin. So you can see, I'm just pulling that skin away. And again, the same on the other side. Again, being careful not take the flesh away. Dover sole tends to be very, very sinewy and stringy, you can see here. That's why a lot of Dover sole is cooked on the bone. But this method gives you a really, really good product doing sous vide. So firstly, incision down the backbone, just removing the fillets away from the bone. And you can see it's just coming away nicely. Cut through the fins, because you can trim them up afterwards. So now to tidy it up, just place your fingers in between the flesh and the skirt and just pull it off like that. So lay your fillets out, one on top of another. And when it cooks, it'll release all, all of its natural gelatines and it'll stick the sole together through its proteins. Okay, with the Dover sole now ready to go, it's now time to get it into its vat pack bag. So just keep it separated away from each other, and we're going to pop that in and vat pack that tight. Okay, so we've got a really nice Dover sole little sandwich, really. Nice and firm. We're going to cook that in the water bath at 60 degrees for about 30 minutes. Okay, to make the sauce, uh, we're going to do it quite traditionally. We're going to use some mussels and some cockles and cook it as in aluminium style. The mussels go straight in, nice and hot. A little bit of shallot and a bit of fennel trimming, they go in, and a good glug of white wine. Lid on, a little bit of a shake. About 15 20 seconds, they'll be ready. And they're open now, you can see. Smells fantastic, really, really nice. So again, they took about 15, 20 seconds if that. Just open them up slightly. Let them cool for about, about a minute or two and then take them out of the shells. Lovely plump mussels. Just take them out, check for little beards and the cockles as well. Um, sous vide cooking, the beauty about it, it gives you consistency, and in that consistency, you can it, you, your restaurant and your kitchen become very reliable on product, and you can get so many intensive flavors, especially with vegetables uh, and fruit. There's so much you can do with it. Okay, the Dover sole's had 30 minutes now. I'm gonna take it straight out of the water and put it straight into ice water to stop the cooking process. Very important you do that. Okay, so it's nice and chilled. So you can see our Dover sole fillets, our little sandwiches I like to call them, are really nice and firm, glued together by the gelatines, natural gelatines. And I'm gonna put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes uh, before I pan them in breadcrumbs. We're gonna use some panko breadcrumbs and we're gonna, we're gonna double pan So the Dover sole finger goes into the flour and then into the panko breadcrumbs. Little shake, back into our egg, and then back in to the panko breadcrumbs for the second paneer. Okay, so Dover sole fingers are nicely wrapped in panko breadcrumbs. They're gonna go into the fryer, nice clean oil for around about three minutes, just till they're nice and golden brown. So to finish the dish, um, I've got some 
uh, a sauce here, uh, which is basically made from scallop skirts, a little bit of cream, white wine, some shallots and some mushrooms and some herbs, um, cooked out. And I'm just going to add our shellfish and our forest herbs to that, and um, with a little bit of smoked mashed potato, and finished with our Dover sole. And then for the main ingredient, a lovely little crispy Dover sole. Just cut that on an angle, just for presentation purpose. And then a little few dots of really vibrant parsley oil. And to top it off, I've got a nice little charred baby leek. And there we have it, crispy Dover sole, cooked sous vide method with fish pie flavors and smoked potato.